shoelaces. Sama, Sama. Yes, Ma. I'm ready. Let's go, Ved. Bus is here. Ma is pressurized with all household work, and I wonder why Papa doesn't help in the household work. Hmm. I know Papa goes to office, but Ma cleans the house, prepares food for everyone, and then goes to office as well. Maybe I should talk to Isha, ma'am, about it. Thank you, students. Today's class is over. If you have any questions, please come to me. Ma'am, my mother helps me and my brother get ready for school. She also prepares food for all of us and then goes to office. I do not like seeing my mother so exhausted every evening. Why does she work alone? Why does not my father help her? Can only females do the household work? Sama, I am very happy that you noticed this and are discussing it with me. It is not true that only females can do all the household work. A person's sex and gender has nothing to do with their roles and responsibilities. Everyone should contribute and work together to run a household. Okay, ma'am, but what do we mean by sex and gender? Sama, sex is biological and is based on the body parts we are born with. Okay, ma'am, but what is gender? Gender is how the society expects us to behave according to our biological sex. So, for example, it is a common belief that women are expected to do all the household work. Ma'am, this is exactly what is happening in my house and I think this is wrong. Exactly, Sama. This is very unfair and it is important for us to challenge these things which are called stereotypes. You might know that most chefs in the world are men and they have broken the gender stereotype that only women can cook. Also, Mary Com, who is a boxer, has shown that women can also fight and are equally strong. These examples which you can keep in mind and share with your friends and family. Thank you so much, ma'am. I will discuss this with my parents and question these stereotypes whenever I see them happen around me. Padma, is dinner ready? I was wondering if you could also make some food for all of us so that we are not hungry in the train. Okay. Exactly, Sama. This is very unfair and it is important for us to challenge these things which are called stereotypes. Ved! Ved! Yes, baby. Coming. Papa, can I ask you something? Of course, Sama. Please tell me. Why do you not help Ma in doing the housework? I work in the office all day and when I come back, I am tired so I like to watch TV and relax. Even Ma goes to office. But still, she comes back home and cooks, cleans the house and does all the household work. Sama, who told you these things? All mothers cook and do the household work in every house. It is very common in our society so there is nothing wrong. No, Papa. This is wrong. My teacher also told me about these beliefs which make one gender more powerful than the other in certain situations. It is not the duty of Ma to cook food for all of us. Ma'am told me that we should all work together and help each other out. Okay, Sama. I understand what your teacher is saying. And she's right. I realize my mistake. I will help Ma in preparing food and packing our bags for our Shimla trip tomorrow. Thank you, Beta, for pointing out what I was doing wrong. Just one example in our house where all genders are not treated equally. So, it is important to address these stereotypes and talk about them. Like I spoke about these problems at home. Everyone should. Wait, what happened? Why do you look so scared? Didi, I am very scared of them. Who are they? Wait, there is nothing to be afraid of. Transgenders are people like us who do not identify with the gender assigned to them. Based on their biological sex, my class teacher has told me that it is up to the individual to choose their gender and they should not be looked down upon on their gender choice. So don't be scared. But Didi, why are they going to everyone? 
society does not give equal opportunities to transgenders and they face challenges for survival in their daily life so they ask people for money ma papa can we help them out stop this right now you have no right to trouble them everyone is free to live their lives be whoever they wish to be you all should apologize to them and never repeat it again we realize our mistake and feel sorry thank you sir it's time people realize that our gender or life choices do not make us weaker than others and we should not be discriminated they are right we should learn to respect every human being and accept them as they are Gender equality is extremely important in every family and society. Parents are the first role models children have. It is important for parents to share household chores and also talk to their children about gender related issues in an age appropriate manner so that they grow up to be more gender aware, gender responsive and respectful. There should be mutual respect for all irrespective of sex, gender, caste, religion, socio-economic or educational status. These core values lay a strong foundation for a gender equal society.